I'm Vernon Henderson. So when you urbanize and the country develops, it starts with a population fraction in the urban sector of maybe 15 percent. And over nowadays, in a very short space of time, that goes up to 60 or 70 percent of the population being urban and within, say, a 50-year time interval. So that is a massive change in where and how people live um, and the conditions under which uh, they're carrying out their lives. A much more formal sector, uh, much closer to each other, and in a situation where institutions are, are really critical. In some of these countries, you have a second uh, wave of resource extraction, uh, particularly by East Asian nations. And with that are being built uh, some transport systems and to both help extract the resources and in some cases to help develop the country. Uh, the question is, are those being well placed? Uh, what will be their impact upon the development of these countries? We've studied these questions for the colonial road systems and rail systems that were built in the past, but we don't have a sense of what the impact of uh, roads built by the Chinese, Japanese, and Koreans, and so on in Africa is going to be on that, where people live and what cities uh, develop. Thank you.